y'all. You ever had those nights you didn't lay anything out to cook and it's time to cook and you're wondering what can I do? Well, I'm gonna show you a recipe that you can make with four ingredients that I just about bet everyone has in their house. I have got some frozen meatballs. Um, the recipe I'm gonna share with you will say Italian meatballs. I didn't have Italian meatballs. I had home style meatballs. They're my favorite. So I have used those. I have got a jar of pasta sauce, whatever you like, or even homemade, but I didn't want to thaw out any of my homemade. A can of biscuits. And then the last thing, and I've already shredded it, is some mozzarella cheese. So this is something that you can throw together so quick and easy, and you look like a rock star when everybody comes to the dinner table. So I've got some things, I'm gonna throw this in the trash, done ahead, and I was trying to decide, you, you need to cook it in a um, nine by 13. So I've got our nine by 13 cake pan, AKA cake pan, but I use it for casseroles too. And I couldn't decide if I wanted to divide it into two and make two eight by eights, one for me and one to give to one of my daughters. But I thought, you know what? I'll just go ahead and make the whole thing. And then that way, if they want something, they gotta come over and eat. <laughs> so I'm gonna use our eight by eight cake pan with the lid. And the first thing we're going to do with this recipe, and I'm going to share the recipe in the comments, so don't worry about writing any of this down. I put those frozen meatballs in the batter bowl, and I just heated them up a little bit just to kind of thaw them out. And then I've already washed it, but I took our little cup slicer and sliced them so they would be in smaller sizes. I don't, it's kind of, I don't like a big bite. Well, let me tell you what I'm making. I'm making a meatball sub, but I'm making it in a a meatball sub bake. So instead of individual subs, we've got one big thing. So in this, um, let me move some of this out of the way. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put half of my pasta sauce. And you can eyeball it, and I probably can also, but it gives me a good reason to show you my favorite, one of my favorite tools, the measure all cup. So this is a 24 ounce jar. So I'm going to put half of it in here if I don't splatter it all over me. But this measure all cup is great for scooping things in it like mayonnaise or honey, uh, any of peanut butter, yogurt, even pasta sauce. Things like that that you don't want to waste any of and you don't want to have to try to dig it back out of a measuring cup. So now I can just pour that in and scrape every bit of that out. So I love using the measure all cups. This end is actually for solid and dry ingredients. But y'all see, off the sides, it's everywhere. This end is actually for our liquid ingredients. So now that I've got that pasta sauce in there, and it's also a recipe you can add in. You can add in pepperoni, but in meatball subs, I don't typically put pepperoni. I will put peppers and onions and I had a jar of roasted, fire roasted peppers, and I wanted to go ahead and use those up. So I put them on the bar pan in the air fryer just a little bit to kind of heat them up. So I'm gonna add some of those peppers in mine. I'm not gonna add any onion because if the grandchildren and one of my oldest daughter, if she sees the onion, she'll go, ooh, and she won't eat it. <laughs> so, oh, I'm sorry, I know that was loud. So I'm gonna add that in there and I tasted, this is my favorite sauce, one of mine other than homemade. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of our Italian seasoning since I was supposed to use Italian meatballs and I didn't, I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. You can add in garlic, onion, whatever seasoning that you like. So at this point, all I have is my meatballs and my sauce. I added in peppers, you can do peppers, onions, mushrooms, whatever you like. And I'm just gonna kinda of toss this and give it a good stir. And then I'm going to pour it in the bottom of my baking dish. So it comes together so, so quick. I've got the oven preheating to 375 degrees. Turn it this way, let me tilt this camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing instead of me. Okay. I think I got you right. I need a camera assistant. All right. I'm going to put that in. 
And a lot of times when I make monkey bread or garlic bread or pizza bread like this, I'll go ahead and put my biscuits that I've got, you see over here, cut up too. But in the meatball sub, I don't like to go ahead and put them in with the mixture. I like to put them on top. Ooh, that looks delicious already. And I did cut mine, oh, my oven's ready. I did slice mine up and you can see those slices in there. Just like that, but that's a lot of meatballs. Okay, so I've got my cheese shredded and I'm gonna save half of my cheese, maybe a little more I did, a little more than half for the top. And I went ahead and put out some here and I'm gonna just go ahead and put some of this on top of this meatball mixture. And then I'm gonna add the rest of my sauce. I'm not liking that, so I'm gonna put a little bit more. <laughs> Never have enough cheese in there, right? Okay, so now lastly, the rest of our sauce. So I'm tempted to pour it in here because it gets it all out, but I won't, I'll just pour it right over top. This is very easy to make, y'all. Even your children can help you do this. And you know, if the children help you cook, they will typically eat whatever you're cooking. They eat a whole lot better if they have helped you prepare it. And it makes them feel so proud, especially when you're eating it, if you brag on their delicious dinner. It gives them a sense of purpose and a sense of belonging. And I just love to have my little ones help me cook. All right. So now I'm trying to get all of this sauce out, but I don't want to keep you on forever. So I'm going to move that. Now next, and I'll show you how I did my biscuits, which you probably already know. I'm, the recipe is going to tell you to take your biscuit. i turn it this over here so you can see it. And I've already got them kind of cut up. And we're gonna cut it like a pizza. We're gonna cut it in eight slices. So I just go in half and then again, and then just kind of slice it like you would your pizza. And that's gonna give us eight pieces. Just like so, they're sticking together. They've been sitting out on my counter. So I've got eight pieces. So now what I'm going to do is just press these down a little bit on the top. And that's all we got to do. Other, I'm going to top it with some more cheese. But it is delicious, even though it's so, so simple to do. Um, if I ever, when I worked, if we were going to have a meeting or something, or we all needed to bring a little covered dish, this was one that I used to always take, and everybody loved it. And they just think you spent so much time on it, but you, you don't have to tell them, but you really didn't. It's so easy. My husband would like mushrooms in his, but I don't like mushrooms. I don't know why anybody wants to eat those. I'm sorry. If y'all like them, I'm sorry. They stink to me. When they're cooking, ooh, I cook them for him, but I don't like them. But he does, so he does get some cooked every now and then. All right, I'm almost there, y'all. <laughs> now, I'm go around and put some just where I think it needs them. And I'm just gonna kind of press them down just a little bit in this sauce. And ta-da, how about that? How quick was that? And again, it's just simple ingredients that I just about, y'all let me know. Do you have biscuits, meatballs, pasta sauce, and cheese? Four things. And then anything else you want to clean out your refrigerator, toss that in here and go ahead and use that up too. It's a good way to clean out some of those things left over in your refrigerator like I did my peppers. So uh, I had some mushrooms in there, but I'm not going to tell my husband. Oh, I didn't have any. Because <laughs> he's going to say, where's the mushrooms? 
All right, so I'm gonna put this in the oven. It is ready to go. And it's gonna take probably 20, 25 minutes at the most to bake. And then I will come back on or either put pictures at the end um, so you can see what it looks like. And as always, you'll find the recipe in the comments. Thanks guys, have a great night, bye-bye. See what I get for telling a story if I said I told my husband there won't no mushrooms. <laughs> I forgot to put my cheese on, so I just did. I was putting it in the oven, and I thought, oh, where's the cheese? So I just wanted you to see, you do, after you put your biscuits on top, you do also top it with that shredded mozzarella cheese. So now it's ready to go in the oven. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, y'all, it is done, ah, and it smells amazing. So I ended up cooking it for 25 minutes. I, I checked it after 20 minutes and I wanted the biscuits to be a little more brown on the top. And I've just taken it out of the oven. So it's very hot, but I'm gonna try <clears throat> to get some out so you can see what it looks like. It sure smells good. Ooh. It makes a lot. All right, see if I can get some out so you can see. Look at all of that deliciousness. Whoop. Meatballs, marinara sauce, and all those biscuits. And just look how, let's see how clean that pan comes out. And I don't ever um, put any grease or seasoning down in the bottom of that pan. It is truly a non-stick pan that steam is coming off of it i don't know if you can see it or not but it's too hot for me to taste but it looks amazing i ended up right before i put it in the oven i decided to sprinkle some garlic parmesan seasoning on the top just to give it a little bit more flavor and oh you can see those flakes of that on there so it is going to be so delicious and i cannot wait to eat so that is it. Very, very simple meatball sub baked, not in the little subs, meatball sub baked. And I will share this recipe in the comments with you. And it's one that I hope you'll try. Thanks. Y'all have a great night. Bye-bye.